Hello everyone! It is that time, that time of year where I just get the itch to deep clean. And not just any deep clean, my friends, no, no, no. Today, I thought I would start the attempt of the KonMari method, which is a method of cleaning done by the very, very famous Marie Kondo. I wanted to kind of start that process, kind of go through all of the steps that she recommends doing, see how I feel, and see if I want to continue doing this method for everything else, because I feel like it will be basically impossible to do everything in one day. That's actually one of her recommendations is to try and actually get it all done at once. Like that's not happening. So give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for new videos every Saturday. And also I'm gonna be doing, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I did some simming gaming kind of content where I attempted to parent my family in The Sims and it was super entertaining. Editing Rachel had a field day with that one. So I'm gonna be uploading part two of that tomorrow. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right, first of all, before we can actually get into anything, we need to go over some rules. Step number one, visualizing the destination. And I totally get the reasoning behind this. If you can like visualize the space, how you're feeling in the space, being able to find all the things that you're looking for and feeling happy with all the things that you're surrounded with, you are going to be more driven to actually going through the painstaking process that it is to actually do this declutter. Number two is dressing the part. So as part of this method, you are supposed to be eliminating the whole need to like constantly tidy and declutter all the time. Like you create this one giant event, go through it, end of list. You can see I put on makeup for you, Marie, for this event. I am also, I mean, I'm not like super dressed up, but I'm not wearing any pajama pants. Number three is focus, just focusing on the task at hand, not kind of peppering it throughout the next five years, but like setting yourself a timeline and just going through it. Number four is probably the most important one and differentiating one that I've seen versus like all the other decluttering techniques that I've seen. Um, and that is categorizing. So tidying by categorizing. So she has a very specific order in which to complete things. Hence why there are still clothes on the floor because step number one, surprise, it's clothes. It goes clothes, books, papers, miscellaneous, and then sentimental, I believe. I've actually looked into this because I had so many questions. I'm like, oh, am I supposed to declutter everyone's clothes? Is it just mine? Do, I, I don't know how this works. So apparently what you're supposed to do is tackle your own decluttering first and then help everyone else with their declutters. But all of the, the whole proponents around like sparking joy, which I'm gonna get into in a minute, should be very personalized, individual. And then the next very interesting rule for this particular method is holding everything and then thinking to yourself, does this item spark joy? Which feels like a very draining process, if I'm gonna be honest. But like, I'm usually pretty quick to be like, nope, 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 if I'm given the time to actually do that. So sitting down and holding a sweater and being like, does this make me happy? Sounds exhausting. This whole method of organizing really isn't so much organizing as it is decluttering. It's eliminating all of the unnecessary garbage that is taking up not only your physical home, but in many ways it, it kind of clogs us up as well. If you have too much stuff and you can't find what you're looking for, it's very distracting, it's very chaotic. At least that's how I feel, um, which is why I like decluttering, so that I'm kind of excited about this. And so I have blocked off this particular day to tackle this. We're gonna see how I do. I'm gonna go through and we're gonna vlog the whole process and we're gonna start with the clothes. So now that we've gotten all the rules out of the way, let's go to my closet. All right, so closet time. Let's get into this. So this is the state of my closet right now. This is Chris's stuff, so I'm not gonna touch that. And then this is all of my stuff right here. It's not too bad. I did a declutter fairly recently, I would say in the last year of my closet, but there are some areas like, for example, <laughs> my drawer of sweaters. Apparently a lot of maroon sweaters. I have a lot of maroon sweaters. I also have a lot of pajamas and everything that's all cluttered up in here. So a lot to go through and uh, get rid of, I'm sure. Oh, and I also need to find all the clothes that are around the rest of the house, which there aren't too, too many. Um, there's like jackets and things like that downstairs. Do shoes count? Like, do I need to also declutter this or is that part of miscellaneous? I don't know the rules. So the first thing I need to do, as much as I don't wanna do this, I'm gonna take everything out of my closet and then we're gonna go through piece by piece and see if it sparks any joy. Are these pieces that I'm excited to wear or do I need to get rid of them? Here I go. Oh! Ok, 
Okay, guys, this is what we are left with right now. Oh my gosh, when it's all laid out, it is a little bit different. So I got all of my clothes out on the bed right now. And so now I'm gonna go through and hold them all and see if anything sparks joy. I feel like this is gonna be super draining on me. I'm just like not gonna enjoy this experience at all. But I really like decluttering, so I don't know what to do. And in the process, I have forgotten that there are pajamas on the floor in the bathroom, and I also need to get the stuff from downstairs. More clothes. I'll take you, and you, and you. Just wanted to update you guys on what I'm doing. So this is the pile that I will be donating. I am keeping, and things that need to get folded and put away. And then I also have like pregnancy clothes that just somehow ended up in the rest of my clothes. So I wanna make sure that those stay separate. Oh, pregnancy clothes, I should probably go through those. And I know there's a very specific way in which you fold things, so I will be doing that so they stand upright. Um, but yeah, I found that so far in the process that there are some items that were really easy and it was like, I don't want this, I don't need it, I don't wear it because of X get rid of it. And then there are some that I just like, I see them in the pile and I'm like, mm, and I, like, I want them, but I'm like, no, I have things like it or things that I like more. I'm, I'm getting through it. So far, so good. I feel like I haven't made a dent in the process though. Like I have not like touched what I feel like is most of my clothes. Check out that makeup mess though. Trying to be all awesome and cleaning out the bottom of my closet. I forgot about these drawers. Ah! Is this like normal? Do other people deal with this where you just like totally forget about elements in your house and you feel like you're just starting all over again? Also, I feel like in order to make this process not super daunting, I'm gonna start taking some of the stuff that I'm keeping and I'm gonna start putting it in my closet so it's not like this giant, overwhelming pile that I don't want to put away. So that'll clear some space for the rest of the stuff that is currently on the bed. So that's all I'm going to do. And so far, I feel like the only thing that I feel kind of weird about is like, you know, thanking my clothes or just thinking like, does this spark joy? Like, I just, I feel like either I know it right away or I'm like, I need to try it on or it's a, a hard no. I don't know how I feel about this sparking joy thing thus far. Um, but again, I'm only on clothes, so I don't know. Maybe it's different for other stuff. She also says, if you have stuff in your wardrobe that still has tags on it, take the tags off immediately to make it yours. And I still have the tag on this, <laughs> even though I've worn it. Don't tell anyone. And I love it. I'm like, it makes me really, really happy. So I am going to take off the tag now. Again, it's just one of those things, like sometimes I just have things in my closet that have tags on them for no reason at all. Why is this still on there? Mine now. She's right though. That does make me feel better for, I don't know why, but it does. I have so much stuff to fold and I have a whole lesson in how to fold correctly to go. Here is my pile of giveaways. Pretty proud of myself. I'm trying not to like think too much into it because I feel like otherwise I'm going to want to take it all back. So now I need to tackle all the folding. These are all of the pieces that um, need to be folded up in the drawers, but I need to learn the proper way of folding things. So let's take, par exemple, a tank top. And basically it seems like you fold everything towards the center, at least for tops. Then you fold the bottom up to the top. You fold it again in half, and then you have a piece that can stand upright so all the pieces will line up vertically so you can see everything that you have which I like as, as like a method in, instead of just folding it flat and then forgetting what you have on the bottom. So I'm going to attempt to fold the rest of these pieces and put them all into their respective drawers. Wow this is taking a long time. Like the process of actually decluttering the clothes was draining but not as draining as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have a lot harder of a time letting go of stuff but Apparently I'm not that attached to my clothes. Makeup will be another story. Not even going to touch that in this video. I think miscellaneous is going to be my downfall. That is going to be where I really struggle because that's all like the kitchen stuff, the like just like everything. It's going to be everything and I don't know if I can handle it. Right now we're just focusing on clothes. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. I was just in here. I was getting my son to get me hangers and he started to take my husband's stuff off of their hangers and put it on the floor. Ah! Notice there wasn't a category for folding onesies, Marie Kondo. 
Just, just say. So this is what we ended up with, with the closet. It honestly doesn't look that much different though. I mean, this looks a lot smaller. <laughs> Lots of free hangers, yes. But everything in here I absolutely love and I'm excited about, so that feels really good. And this is a lot less cluttered. A lot of my stuff is in the laundry. That was one thing that I noticed. You can see in here, pajamas, etc., and also all my shorts and um, swimwear and like little crop top type things. Honestly, I'm not folding my socks. I know she's like a big fan of that and I'm just not going to keep up with that because then I'd have to fold everyone's socks and no, no, not happening. And everything in this drawer is also organized. I hung up a couple of the sweaters that could be hung up. The rest are nicely folded in here so I can see where everything is. A lot of scar. You know what? Honestly, I don't need this many scarves. I don't know why I just put them back. I didn't even think to organize these. Um, let's purge this a little bit. There we go. That is much better. Now we are, I need to sit down for a minute. I did the closet and next on the list is papers. And according to her sort of her method, um, papers means literally anything that's paper in your house. So whether it's tax files, recipes, any piece of paper in the house is supposed to be like dumped onto the bed and then sorted into like immediate needing to be dealt with like a bill or something, something that's short term and then something that's long term that you have to keep for a number of years. And that sounds like a, like a really daunting task to me. Honestly, I like I, I don't even know where to begin with it and it would require a full day, not only just for myself, but me and Chris to sit down with like all the papers and tax stuff and, and figuring out where everything goes. And honestly, that would just not be that interesting to watch. Like, you know, <laughs> here's me sorting my taxes. I don't know what this, I don't know why I'm digging, but that feels like a project for like a weekend. Books I'm pretty good with, miscellaneous terrifies me. That That is basically everything else in my house. And I don't know even where to start with that. But I'm going to leave this for now, because I'm I want to I want to end on a high note, having kind of tested the waters with the method. I like it. There are some components to it that I think are a little bit much for me, but I'm a person who really enjoys declutters and purging things, and I don't hold a lot of sentimental value to clothing, for example. So I understand why it's sort of the first one in the list of things to go through. Um, but I feel really good about it and I like a lot of elements of it, but have you guys tried it before? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever done a, the full declutter. If you have any tips or tricks, leave me a comment down below so that I know for when I go into the next round of this. But this was a fun challenge. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed like the first step into spring cleaning. So that's been awesome. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday and check back tomorrow because I will be uploading a new Sims video then. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome weekend and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.